Alright everybody, welcome back to uh, the next video of Paladins. Um, I'm having a lot of fun with this game. And I'm having a lot of fun recording for the first time in years. So we're just going to keep the ball rolling. going to play some more Paladins. Um, so while I'm in queue, let me, let me tell you what I'm thinking is going to be my next video. Um, because I'm a basic ass YouTuber now, apparently. Um, I'm gonna try some Fortnite. That's a little, that's a little preview for you, for things to come. Because, you know, I I'm basic as fuck now. I'm basically the white girl of YouTubers, you know? But hey, it's cool. It's cool. You know, if, uh, if Starbucks is to white girls what Fortnite is to YouTubers, then I think... We're gonna be we're gonna be good because a lot of people like Starbucks. A lot of people hate Starbucks too. A lot of people despise Starbucks. Um, I for one am pretty half and half on Starbucks sometimes. Like if I need to drink coffee and like need to have energy throughout the day, 100% of the time I will not go to Starbucks unless it's like the only fucking thing left, you know, I'd rather go get a cold brew at Dunkin Donuts with a shot of espresso or something, that's my thing, you know, that's my thing, I like, I like Dunkin way better, it's just, it just gives you energy, whereas Starbucks is like, I don't know, basic, it's more for the taste, I, you know, I don't drink coffee for the taste, even though I love the taste, I don't drink coffee for that, um, but you know, if I wanted to go on a date or something, uh, Starbucks would be fine, you know, if, if I would recommend somewhere else all the time, but if a girl wanted to go on a date with me and she was like, yeah, meet me at Starbucks, I would not fight that. Because I'd just be like, well, I'm not going there to drink coffee as an energy giver. I'm going there to drink coffee as a taste thing, um, you know, as an extra thing to this other thing I'm doing, which is going on a date with this girl. But I digress. Fortnite is kind of like that um wow i'm actually very surprised we have a frontline and a support immediately um i kind of wanted to go support <laughs> so i think i'm just gonna go support we're gonna have two supports i really like saris i'm gonna be honest i really like saris she is kind of really good to me um But, honestly, and, and not, to, not to mention, she's really good to me, um, but I think I want to go Furia because I wanted to show her off a little bit. You know, she's a lot of fun, and she's new. She just got added, um, at least you know, on Switch, she got added from the patch that was on, I don't know, like June 26th or something like that. Yeah, very... Very recent. I remember being very mad because the servers kept getting on to, uh, you know, the servers weren't up. And I was like, why is it taking so long to log in right now? Um, I thought it was just paladins being paladins, you know, you know, just like not polished. But it was, in fact, just the servers being down because they were doing maintenance. And I had to eat my fucking words. So you know people are good when they have skins. So we've got two people with skins and the other people have no skins. Um, I think we're gonna win. Okay, Cherish is great. Um, because her, her sec- Okay, I'll explain her shit. Um, so her primary is this. Yeah, it's pretty long range. You can hit really nicely. I like that a lot. Um, and, Jesus, hold on, this is very loud right now. It's like distracting me from what I'm trying to say. Okay, her secondary fire is her heal. That's a really good heal because it's actually available pretty frequently. Um, so yeah, those are all her things. You can read up on them a little bit more. Pyre Strike is this big thing right here that uh, stuns enemies if it hits them. And it also goes through walls and shit, so you don't have to worry about positioning. That's really nice. And then her last ability sends her flying back and sends three homing balls at the other team. Um, like that. 
You know, that's kind of like a get the fuck away from me ability. Um. Oh, Jesus! Oh, gee! Okay, I thought he was for sure going to kill me. Um, so the thing about her is that each time you heal someone, your weapon gains rate of fire. So you can fire more effectively each time you hit someone. Um, but I believe that resets upon death. Uh, so you gotta be sure to not die, of course. Um, I like to go life rip with supports because it helps, you know, self-heal. Uh, Furia doesn't really have a self-heal, you know. Pretty much the only self-heal is the, you know, like, get out of combat for a little while. And, um... Hold on, I'm just trying to keep my tank alive right now. Yeah, get her! I just ulted, so my ult uh, makes me invulnerable for two seconds, and then after that, um, me and my allies gain a uh, rate of fire and damage, I believe. Uh, no, movement speed. 30%. Uh, oh, no, okay, so 30% weapon damage and 30% movement speed. So your DPS increases and your movement speed increases. It's kind of like a, you know, a big old sort of nano boost for everyone on your team that's near you. They have to be near you for it to be effective. Um, I don't know why we're doing so bad right now. Oh, maybe it's because our fucking tank keeps just diving into the fucking enemy team. Got a care in the world. Okay, life rip just gives you life steal. Um, I like to go. Oh, what, what? I feel like this is just not worth it. You know, you stay on your thing for like two seconds while you go into battle and then it's done. Like, I would much rather have increased movement speed or increased. Uh, you know, you know cool, like, lower cooldowns. I would much rather have that. Yuria. Oh, Jesus! There's a Slex right here! He's trying to get me! Grover, help me! Oh, thank you. What killed me there? Okay, that's basically a junk rat tire. Cool, cool. I clicked the wrong thing. That's what that was. There we go. Oh, Jesus, there's a Lex here! Get the Lex! Get the fucking Lex! Thank you. Lex is annoying as shit. He can be really good. I've seen people basically carry a team with Lex. Eat my fucking fire, bitch. So yeah, those balls that she shoots out home in on people. So that's that's a really nice thing about Furia. Is that not only does she like get away, but it also fires three things that can home in on bitches. So 
almost dead. Genos is almost dead. Yes! Come on, Victor. Don't die, Victor. We need you to not do what you're doing right now, Victor. That Furio was a dumbass. This is always what happens, by the way. Of course, the enemy team has a Furia, because I have a Furia. Do you remember what I said before? Every time I make a choice, I get a fucking enemy teammate making the same choice. Yep. That's what happens. That's what happens, Larry. Oh, Jesus! That was not cool. Okay, Wrecker is increased damage to shields. Um, some games it's not worth it, but I think this game is worth it because of the enemy con. Um, and here we go. I created all my items to level 2. It's pretty. Oh, Jesus! Okay, I thought that was enemy team. Come on, Khan, get in view, get in view, Khan, get in view, Khan! You see what I mean? This Lex is fucking everyone up. That's another really frustrating thing about this game, I feel. That was bullshit, but um, I don't want to talk about that anymore. Another frustrating thing about this game is that, you know, they your, your, enemy t your team is more inclined to just do dumb shit all the time. So, like, yeah, maybe don't just rush in to where fucking five of the enemy team is, you know? Maybe just... Wait a second, for everyone, you know, like grouping up, like trickling in is what they call it in Overwatch, and it's basically the same deal here, you know, you get people trickling in, you get them dying because you're trying to heal them, but they're out of sight of you because they trickled in and, you know, they pushed up way too fucking far, um, and because of that, all of a sudden you get into this, you know, for lack of a better word, like, routine, I guess. It's like a trap where you, like, you just keep trickling in because you can't help it because your enemy team is dumbasses. So, yeah. This con, this con. This fucking con. So how do y'all feel about that new Overwatch character? Fucking Wrecking Ball. <laughs> oh, I love him. He's adorable. I love, I love it. I love everything about Wrecking Ball right now. I love his name. I love that his name is Wrecking Ball. That's amazing. I don't even care. People are like, why isn't he named Hammond? Uh, and it's like, are you are you shitting me? They're, they're thinking the most outrageous thing about that character is his name. That he's not named Hammond. Are you fucking serious? Dude, it is a mutated hamster in a giant ball that can quite literally become a wrecking ball. That is why he's called Wrecking Ball, you dumb shits. And, and, and you think that's an outlandish name? How about Reaper? Huh? How about how about Reaper? Or or you know, why isn't he just called Reyes? You know, why why does he have to be called Reaper? How about fucking junk rat? Junk rat. This guy, you know, he makes things based on junk. He's junk rat. You know, how about Roadhog? This very mean name that we gave this plus-sized guy, like, Victory. fucking Roadhog. How about goddamn, uh, Doomfist? How about Doomfist? Why don't we call Doomfist by his real name, huh? What if he doesn't have the Doomfist fist, huh? Is he still Doomfist? Yeah, of course he is, because that's what we decided to name him. Y'all are saying Wrecking Ball is more outlandish than Doomfist? Get over yourselves. Alright, that has been it. For this video, as you can see, that guy just destroyed our team 
with one tire, as is the same in Overwatch. Um, you know, obviously, I'm going to be talking about about Overwatch a lot in this in these videos because you can't deny the similarities. You can't deny the parallels. Like, they're both amazing games, but in their own right. And you know, obviously, they I feel like they borrow from each other. You know, I feel like there's a lot of ideas that this game has that are better than Overwatch. You know, just because of the fact that there's more in this game at this moment than Overwatch. Overwatch has like amazing polish. By the way, best support, fuck you. Um, Overwatch has amazing polish and it, it, like the game is just looks amazing, it feels amazing. It's to me it's superior. It's got better ideas, it executes those ideas better, but this has just a lot more in it, you know. Um, and I guess I'll talk more about that in the next video because I've gone over time. But here we are, here we are with more paladins next time. Come come to see us next time.